All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a break from the Archiso stuff. And uh, the GNU, yeah, there we go, GNU. Uh, new GNOME, or GNOME, uh, version 3.20. I didn't install the full bone uh, GNOME packages, just the GNOME shell and built upon it. Um, I was interested in uh, a couple of things. Uh, one was Nautilus and the software center. So Nautilus, uh, as you can see, uh, the deep, the folder view is no longer, you know, the folders aren't huge. <laughs> um, but I did, I, I understand now why they were large is when you zoom in with the, say your control and mouse wheel zoom or maybe control plus, you know, mouse wheel. It shows the it shows you the items that are in each folder. You can zoom even more. It shows you when they were modified. So I guess that's what the the idea was to have this uh, these settings, and you can adjust it through uh, the files preferences and first size modified third say owner, and it just says me. <laughs> so there you go. I guess that's what it was for, and it just took them. Some time to work out, but uh, me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, inline search is kind of neat. Say if uh, I was looking for GVFS permissions uh, to turn off suspend and uh, not prompt me to when I mount uh, another uh, hard drive. Uh, which leads me to another thing that I'm not sure if it has to do anything with this, but uh, I noticed after a couple of minutes a few minutes the screen will go dark and go to another tty another terminal saying loading arch i'm not sure so be aware of that if you do have suspend and you need it on uh that could be a bug i'm not sure it has anything to do with suspend but ever since i made these uh this rule it uh it didn't come back so i'm not sure what's going on with that so the software center, what's up with that? Well, it's better. Um, it's you're not really, you know, if you use Arch Linux, you probably have no interest in this. However, for other platforms, I can see how this can be come in handy. I think the Ubuntu, the, the newest Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever, has this as default. I can't remember, but I was surprised if I type in say I Redshift. Um, these kind of things weren't coming up before, like Caden Live. It's now uh, in there, and Handbrake, and so on. Ristretto, Image Viewer, or just uh, Image, and it gives you a bunch of those. G Sum View, uh, I Have Gnome, Gimp, and uh, so on. They can update the system, and again, it's a little non-arch way <laughs> or whatever but again it's for probably for other platforms is it will check updates for you and if there's an update there'll be a notification and you click on and no matter what is installed it could be something very minor minor it will restart your system and actually the last time i tried this it restarted the system twice so you probably wouldn't like that behavior um i don't know if you can uh change that in settings okay it says software sources uh, no applications yeah this is a little bit off too uh, so there isn't really under this part there's no uh, way to turn that on or off but it shows you what's installed and I don't know I'd be careful with removing certain things from here unless you know you know like if you installed something like this uh, me uh, menu editor, which is kind of confusing, uh, it's under sundry menu. I'm not sure what this is all about uh, because if I click on a, a category and say I have these unticked, show or not show, it doesn't make any difference. So I go to properties. It doesn't really show me anything other than the properties. But it, uh, 
I'm not sure why. Maybe I have to launch this as root, or I'm, a, I'm missing a program. Again, that's uh, I installed that through the software center. So there might be more. I don't think so. Though. I've never gotten, I've never been able to get that to work. All right. Uh, another thing that I with Nautilus is. I think finally it says open with another application. I'm not sure if that was there before. Uh, so say if you have, uh, I have usually used leafpad select and see it says no display equals false, but I'm not sure why, how that ended up there in here. <laughs> I didn't change anything other than trying to use the a la carte menu editor. But as I said, there's a couple of changes in Nautilus that make it a little more acceptable. Uh, properties, it will show you the total disk space for you. That's all the hard drives on your system uh, and uh, how much is uh, in your free in your um, home folder and permissions and so on. And uh, there isn't much else I can say, just a, you know, a few changes. There's probably more of uh, the more GNOME stuff you install. Uh, so you go to uh, change background again, it's the same pictures uh, you can change you can add images to your pictures folder but you can't add like a subdirectory like wallpapers unfortunately uh, speaking of which I think uh, there's a couple of that one seems different here and this one um, and this one too and the login screen the same idea okay so, I think it should cover it. There isn't much else to say. Um, there are, like I said, there are some welcome changes, and it's, at least it's moving forward. And it's probably more suited, some of the stuff, uh, the software center is probably more suited to a def different desktop environment. But it's good to see uh, some changes in it anyway, and it, it's running okay. Okay, so that should do it for this one, and uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.